Okay, so <laughs> I'm like a minute late. I had a feeling everything is going wrong today. My God. <laughs> What's up? A uh, hive hater pack, Retsu, Zesty, Insanity, Mesa, PR. How are you guys doing? How are you? Yeah, I saw that you said that, hater, that they, um, the, the servers are all jacked up. What's up, Asian? How are you? What's up, DC? How's your day been? What's up, Luke? I, yeah, I, I've restarted it a few times. I guess the servers are down. I have no idea. What's up, Kuro? How are you doing? What's up? Nothing is freaking working today. Like, Streamlabs is all jacked up. My headphones don't want to connect to anything. The servers are down. I had one hell of a day. It was so bad, I feel like uh, typically I don't like to drink my problems away, but I was like, I have to have a glass of wine. <laughs> Today stressed me out so bad. It was upsetting me. Uh, yeah, so if this didn't work, I was thinking about doing a just chatting stream, but then also too, I just, everything is all jacked up. Sorry, now my notifications aren't working. Uh, Retsu, thank you so much for being a tier three sub for 23 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much. What is up, Eric? How are you doing? There we go. Almost two Woot. years. Almost two Time years. Time just flies. Hot dang. Time just flies. Uh, okay, and then before my computer just completely died, um, I had my just chatting stuff set up, but I don't have any of the Here's settings something or anything to cheer you set up. up Point one since three I months with the queen. Started with my I new PC. I feel honored. Laughing face. PR, thank you so much for being a tier three sub for 13 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Uh, I don't feel like I ordinarily do have so much trouble with my computers, hater. I mean, this is kind of understandable, I guess, in a way. Um, but I don't know, you know, it's like whenever it rains, it pours. It just gets chaotic, more so than ever. But yeah, I don't even have my setting for just chatting, so if I can't get this to go, I'll Me, probably do You're not do getting homework. child support, the kids ain't mine. But you're having a bad day? Please no. B have good days, no bad days. I agree, Insanity. I, you should have no bad days. Thank you so much for being a tier 3 sub for 22 months, Insanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. What's up, gaming? What's up, Fabry? Uh, what's up, 3? How are you doing? What's up, Toph? What's up, DX? How's y'all's day been? You fixed my title. I don't know what you switched it to. I still can't see it. What's up, Will? How are you doing? What's up, Lewis? What's up, Joel? How are you guys doing? We may not even have a stream today. Maybe. I'm telling you guys, it's that kind of day. It's like I started off and the day was so optimistic and everything was going so well and it just freaking crashed and burned. It's not, it's nothing that I can't get over. You know, gotta have that persistent optimism, but it just freaking like tanked so fast. It's like the last thing I need. Charlie, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. What is up, Charlie? How are you? Uh, Dax, do want to ask what your day was? I mean, it's just, it's just one of those days. What can I say? Title is Hot Dads and Teachers Welcome. <laughs> Insanity, thank you for the vids. Yeah, you had that as the title, hi, and then I changed it, and I guess you changed it back. What's up, Asian? How are you doing? What's up, Sakuzi? How's your day been? Ratting on me sure did, yeah. <laughs> Retsu, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry, B. It's get better for sure. It I do know the better. feeling though, ha ha ha. Just keep looking forward and pushing through. You have us always and forever here for you. That's so true, Retsu. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That is very, very true. No, don't you leave us. You stay and vent, B. I know. I just, I feel bad because I don't have any of my settings and I could tinker around with my settings right now, but then... Probably botch him live on stream. That'd be hey, my life. Hey, our dad bods. Welcome to LOL. PR, thank you for the bit. DC, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so much. That's right. Hakuna Matata. So true. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. My, my, for real us. What's up? Where have you been? Why haven't you been in stream? Kevin, what's up? How are you doing? How are you? You know what? I might have... I might still have Vanguard on here. I might have to switch it to Call of Duty. I mean, I don't know what else I can do <laughs> if Overwatch doesn't want to work. Hey girl, if you don't want to have kids with me, that's fine. We can just practice instead Antisira Mischief. 
Joel, thank you for the bits. Hater, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Gohan? How are you? Metaphil, how are you? We've missed you. How are you? you? Think What's we up, care Carol? If you mess something up, Bish, please. We come to hang with you. Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Curl, what's up? Petey, what's up? How are you guys? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to switch to I'm sure to Tenet a... will give you something great for Nurses Week like a churro or a painted rock. <laughs> Toph, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Hater, I don't have it downloaded on this computer currently, but uh, I need to. We do need to finish that. Toph, what did you get for Nurse Appreciation Week? What'd your hospital give you? Yeah, uh, is Vanguard set up to capture to your god? Probably not. I can tinker around with that, though. But, uh, yeah, you know, see, the funny thing about days like this, it's like, I don't believe in bad days per se, right? But it's funny that, like, whenever it rains, it just really pours, and it just snowballs and snowballs and snowballs and snowballs. And the more that you try to be optimistic, like, the more it's just, like, crashing and burning. You can play COD or Candy Crush. We aren't going anywhere. PR, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Toph, sure, your magnet. <laughs> Happy to work at a magnet hospital. Uh, yeah, but it's just, it's just freaking ridiculous. It's like I can't catch my breath. Remember what Dr. Mike says during difficult times. Sarah's name Agu, through I can't. It's not toxic positivity if worked for the Soviet riflemen charging towards German machine gun nest during the siege of Stalingrad. Moscow, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I second heat the idea of Xi. That would be so amazing. You don't mm. even have to do anything in the game. You can just run around and talk with us. I don't team. know. I mean, maybe. I don't know if I feel like streaming Final Fantasy right now. I do want to stream it so that, like, at least people can see the FC house at some point, for sure. I don't know if I feel like putting up with that today of all days. Not that it's particularly stressful, but just don't know if I feel like getting into that today. I'm telling you, my, my patience is very, very thin today. It's very hard to irritate me, to aggravate me. I'm... I'm having a day, oh my god. <laughs> Solo, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's push the buttons. I even felt so bad too. Was, oh god, I'll tell you guys. Play the story Hello here in a Kitty Island Adventure. Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Zesty. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what's up, engineer? How are you? How's your day been? Uh I'll let this play. Ain't nothing like oh. commiseration, B. Let us join you in your bad times and let us put a smile on that mesmerizing face. I'll smile regardless. What One thing I thought was funny is um, I'm one of the math tutors for the math department, essentially. And so one of the things was is when people come into college and stuff like that, a lot of them have to take their math placement exams. And depending on what your major is, you have to hit like a certain, you know, grade to be able to get into the class that you need for your major. If not, you have to retake the test or you Obby, have to take a lower to change that. math class, right? What can we do to keep you smiling, smiley face? PR, I'm smiling. It is okay. I am I promise you, I, I don't have bad days. Uh, but thank you for the bits. And so, um, anyways, I was helping um, one of the students who didn't hit high enough on his uh, placement exam. So basically, he's in tutoring with me basically to like get him up to parts where he's supposed to be. And so anyways, I was just having like such a stressful day today. Um, uh, Feroz, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you. You'll put a smile on her face. Hive wants to put something else. Hue, hue, hue. Akis. What Akis. did you all think? Perfect. Heroes, welcome to the stream. We are so happy to have you here. How is your day going? How are you? Um, and so anyways, yeah, so I, I was tutoring this guy and so we I, I have to basically like go through his entire placement exam and anything that he got wrong basically to get him to redo it, to understand the content so that he can retake the exam later to get into the classes that he's supposed to, to be in. And so anyways, we were doing one to where it's about um, dividing fractions and I was like okay so I was like essentially uh dividing a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal right and so he's like hmm no <laughs> and I didn't mean to laugh and I'm like 
I started laughing. I was like, what do you mean no? Yes, the answer is yes. I'm not trying to trick you. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass him too. And I'm like, okay, like I had a day. Like, what do you mean no? Okay. <laughs> You're stuck with me being your tutor for a reason. Okay, just listen to what I have to say. But anyways, it's just been a day just overall. And I felt bad because I was like, okay, bless your heart. I was like, this is not a rhetorical question. I I'm being dead serious. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can get Vanguard. Well, they um, can all be your number one student B. That's my that's job, Antisira Tihi. That is true. Everybody, uh, everybody can't be a <laughs> my best student. Okay, let's see. Wait a second. No, I don't even have Vanguard on this one. <laughs> no. Wait, I do? Yes, I do. I do, don't I? Wasn't I playing it a few weeks? When did I? I know what it is. Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Um. You know what? This might take a little bit. B, wanna make a deal? How about you come take care of people trying to deny my vacation next week? And I'll come deny take care of anything you need on your side. <laughs> uh, it's some of that new math. Brassu, God, it's thank low. you for the bits. The answer is what you feel you want it to be. Pac, thank you for the bits. Zesty, thank you for the bits. Sandy, thank you for the bits. Helicopter, thank you so much for being a sub I'm great for nine at math, months. But really if you were my you. tutor, I'd be getting all the answers wrong too. Helicopter, have you ever worked on a victim of gunshot wounds? All the time. Hey, All don't knock on the homie just because he has big chimp energy. Big chimp energy is life. I did think it was pretty funny. Uh, have you ever worked oh, on a victim of GSW? Yes. That I have. Uh, that I most certainly have. I've worked on gunshots many, many, many times. It's not the same. It's gonna take a little bit, just bear with me. B Vanguard is the best investment company. Stonks only go up. Engineer, thank you so much for the bits. Misery, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Carl, thank you for the bits. Moscow, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. I have ninjas if you need people to. Ya yeah, no. <laughs> I just felt so bad too, because I was like, you're a tutor on Ugh. top of everything else you do? Yes. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Students are too unpredictable. Tell you what, Ugh. you can tutor me instead. I can be as smart or dumb as you want. <laughs> I can't promise I will be fully dressed. <laughs> Moscow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dang it. No. What? Okay, so Vanguard is having a collaboration with Godzilla right now? What is happening? Oh god, dang. Okay, yeah. Well, apparently I don't have Vanguard downloaded on this computer. So, this is going to be unfortunate. <laughs> I'll just let Overwatch run for a little bit and it just is what it is. It is what it is. Um Oh, you know what? Yeah, cuz we can't even play normal Overwatch, can we? I'm going to try to load it up anyways. Why not? We'll see. Uh, but yeah, like, I felt so bad with um, uh, with tutoring that guy. I was like, I, I just felt like I came off snarky over it all. And I was like, B, I can't promise I if you're my tutor that I won't be in ranger panties with a Jack and Coke in hand. <laughs> Insanity. Thank you for the bits. I think I'm a good teacher. I'm a good uh, tutorer. I think I could teach you. I think I could succeed with you in sanity, I believe. Yeah, I don't think this is, maybe, 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 maybe not, maybe, maybe. So do you have to do like toss stuff for your undergrad or master's programs? Yes. Are you going to do teaching when you get your PhD? That hot professor vibe? Yeah, uh, I definitely have to do uh, TA type stuff that's actually coming up relatively soon. Um, teaching? I'm gonna say no. I mean, eventually, maybe. Like, maybe if I retire or something like that, then I'll do that whenever I do have my PhD. But for the most part, I just wanna focus on research. 
Um, so I won't really be teaching. However, yes, I do have to do TA stuff. I also can't say I will be paying attention to what you are saying, but rest assured I will be paying attention to you. <laughs> that would be so funny, Insanity, you just in your Ranger panties, Jackie Coke. All right. <laughs> Let me teach you about thermodynamics, Insanity. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm telling you, man, when it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. DX, what kind of wine are you having? Uh, this is a sweet red from Riscato, which is the same brand that I was drinking that rosé of, but I finished the rosé, so I didn't have anything else. So I was like, you know what? I'll just drink this. Why not? It is what it is. But, um, yeah, you know, that's just one of the things. It's weird tutoring people, too. Definitely. B, what's the dumbest student you have seen up till now, other than the guy today? I wouldn't call him dumb. I he was trying, bless his heart. I wouldn't Insanity call him dumb. gonna have some fluid dynamics going on in the thermodynamics <laughs> lesson. Who who who? Hater, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, engineer. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, I wouldn't say that he that he's stupid by any means. I think maybe he's forgotten a lot and maybe he just needed me to help reorient him back to where he's supposed to be lord thank you so much for being here welcome to the stream how are you what's your theory on time real or man-made and why <laughs> real or man-made it's just a, a fig newton of our imagination i could talk about time for a very very long time i do actually want to have um streams where i do go into uh some major overarching concepts in physics and things that are kind of like abstract versus like concrete data and so forth. Like I, I talked to you guys a little bit about like consciousness and emergence and that whole theory and the way that it kind of like relates to science as a whole, which is very interesting. I'm actually reading a book on that right now. Um, in addition to everything else that I'm reading. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say that that guy is stupid. I think that he just forgot a lot of stuff. Um, and I think if anything, he was nervous and he was trying to like give me the right answer and I think there's he just not panicked. time like the present to start that B. but what i will say is one i'm not a teacher right i've precepted a lot of students and stuff like that in nursing and obviously i've tutored a lot of people and i've helped out a lot of people like in the physics department and so forth but there are certain people that are far more teachable than others there are some people that are extremely difficult god to teach. please talk nerdy to me Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, C3? How are you? Um, but um, yeah, so one of the things that is interesting is that sometimes, I don't know, it's just some people have the different types of abilities to understand and rash apples rationalize things. And throw babies off the leaning tower to see which ones Big fell moon. fastest. <laughs> the dude must have been wild at parties. Hi, thank you for the donation, Fig Newton and Vin Apples. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so one of the things is that sometimes you can sit down and uh, you can't, and I, I almost want to say your receptiveness, I'm still interested you're born in your with, paper on lucid dreaming versus been trying to control it. mine for 13 months now. PR, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't Gorgeous have babe Bianca. Please talk nursey to me. <laughs> Lotus, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Bear, I need to re-download Valorant. I have like nothing downloaded on this screen. Van Halen's PC. hot for teacher starts playing in the background. <laughs> Insanity, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Um, but I think everybody has like a different type of spectrum of intelligence, just like I'm very high on certain scales and I think I'm very stupid when it comes to things like music. Like I can understand music and harmonics. Well, I can understand music in the term of mathematical Thermo. harmonics. Good times, good memories of me wanting to throw my textbook out yeah, the window. Thermo is... So do you think that the first law is concrete or are there the possibilities of it being more fluid if we have a more open universe? You're, ta you're asking me questions that are I could talk and rant about for hours, which is interesting too because I will contradict myself quite a bit because I will have a concept in my mind and then I will loop over and then contradict myself. I'll get in a debate with myself over these topics, which is kind of interesting. You got into Overwatch 2? Man, still trying to get into Overwatch 1. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's very interesting. Um, Dougie, welcome to the stream. We are so happy to have you here. How are you doing? But yeah, I'll debate myself a lot, but there's a lot of topics that I would enjoy going over.
but yeah. It's very interesting. It's all very fascinating, but you know, there are certain people that you'll meet and it's like you can, you have to understand their basis of functioning and the hierarchy that they're capable of functioning at. You know, uh, I said the other day too, I was like, you can't expect a duck to come out with like a new quantum theory or something like that. You know, you have to know who you're talking to and who you're dealing with and their capacity and their receptiveness to understand things as well as, you know, actually articulate it back to you to where they're capable of understanding and digesting the content. But yeah, uh, I love physics debates because I will go in circles and circles and circles and circles and circles with myself, which is very fun. But also on good news too, for summer is my final Kim that I have to take. So I'm about to be done with Kim completely. Thermo only sucks because physics programs do a poop job at preparing students to think statistically. Mm. I can agree with that. I can agree with Buttercup, that. Buttercup, you can always do a savage chat rant stream, which is just so darn entertaining. Yes, but also too, I wish I had it just like set up for just chatting so you guys could see me a I little better, you know? I have a spectrum. Unfortunately, it's autism. <laughs> Tom, thank you for the bit. You'll thank have you, to you. give us warning when these streams will happen so I can dig out my old textbooks to brush up prior. Yeah, that would be awesome. I do love my textbooks. That's fine. Doc, you have a Schrodinger's cat vibe. The <laughs> concepts are both true and false, alive and dead, in your room of oddities or running for its life. It can be either with you lol. Very true. I can agree and disagree on something at the same time. Which is fascinating. But currently too, I I'm very interested. I, I had a lecture not too long ago, specifically talking about emergence and what emergence is, essentially, just in a nutshell. It's kind of like, why do some things at a smaller level not have the qualities that they have on like a macro level? So let's say like, for instance, like an atom. So if you have an atom, we can say at least thus far that an atom is not sentient, right? But a collection of these atoms to create a human being, why do they have sentience? Why do they have consciousness whenever the atom specifically as an individual unit does not possess that ability? So why, when you get a lot of them, do they create an ability or have an attribute that they didn't ordinarily have to begin with? So that's the book that I'm kind of reading on now. I don't know how sold I am on it. I, I think it's very objective at this point. Well, no, I'm sorry, very subjective at this point. But, <laughs> Mag Look B, just speak slowly for me. I was retarded before the army and the army has only made it worse. <laughs> And small words, if possible. Insanity. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I know this one. Magnets. Zesty, thank you for the bits. Hater. I will do that here in a second, Hive. So if you can agree and disagree at the same time on certain topics, would you agree that I'm the best-looking goblin you've never seen? I would agree to Antisera that, Hater. Smoochies. I would agree to that. Hive, uh, Dougie's daughter's inspirational message. She's five looking for girl streamers. I, I would say, sorry, I, let's Yeah, see but you can say that say? about anything. Alloys have traits their composites don't have. Right. Um, well, to, to Dougie's daughter, I, I think at, at five, like, I don't know. I mean, you have like the world. You see, if I start going on things like this too, like I'll give a major tangent just on anybody or on anything. Cause I even had a conversation not too long ago with somebody who is currently a female streamer. And I was saying that like at the end of the day, always do things that you're proud of. Cause at the end of the day, the only person that you can ever control is yourself. So every day, just go out there and be your best self. You know, every day go out there and be somebody that is conducive to society and to people around you. Um, you know, compared to like bringing people down, I think that there's a beauty and being a light in the world to begin with. And just always keep your morals in check, always keep your dignity in check, um, and never do something that is gonna come back, you know, like that you're gonna be ashamed of later on in life. I think one of the big things is too, is that if you stick to your morals and that you're proud of yourself, you know, like every night when you look at yourself in the mirror. B, have I you mean, ever put up with someone with ADHD or ad? Asking for a um friend. But definitely at, at being like five, just continue to always act in kindness and in love and don't act in malice. You know, I mean, I think that's that's very vital. I, I love it whenever I interact with people in society and they're like, Dude, you're just so optimistic. Like, you're just so wonderful. Like you walk in and you just completely change the entire mood of, of the area. I, I love that. And I feel like a lot of people should be more like that. Um, Eric, have you ever put up with somebody with uh, ADHD or ADD? 
I've come across them many times in my career. Many times. Many, many, many. Yeah, I know. I was like, for five years old, I was like, I don't want to get too deep because you still have so much to learn. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's just there are so many people that, and I get it too. Um, it's very easy to complain. It's very easy to just like roll over and just be like, oh, woe is me. But it's far more difficult to pull yourself up, to compose yourself, and even when you're hurting, to go out there and to be a light into the world and to be kind, and to not be rash, and to not be anger or angry. You know, there's there's a lot to that, and there's a lot of strength to that, and I pay attention to that a lot. I pay attention to the people who need to be spoon-fed information versus people who leave things with few words, and that's, that's it. You know, because I don't have to be spoon-fed. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention to what you say. What you say, what you don't say, how you say it, I pay attention to all of it. You know, the beauty is all in the details. What's up, Hellrider? How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, I do not think we're gonna connect to Overwatch. I think it's just gonna be, um, it's just gonna be, that's just how it's gonna be today. Always watching. Try Overwatch 2 again. Let's see. Let's see. I should have known. I should have known. Hold on. I'm the same way, hyper positive. Don't it's mind awesome me, you guys. because you can motivate and it attracts and inspires people. But do you ever feel like you have energy vampires that grow almost addicted to your positivity? T and just try Welcome and suck. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Pat, thank you so much for the bit. Same way, hyper positive. It's awesome because you can motivate and attract and inspires people. But do you ever feel like you have energy vampires? Yeah, I want to say 80% of society is like an emotional vampire. Like a Here's parasite. a thought you might not like. Not everyone can be a light for others. You have to know what darkness is to be able to guide others out of it and know how much you'd never wish it on others. Very true. Very, very true. I'll go into both of those things here in a second. Wanna know the big difference between me and Overwatch? You and I never fail to make a connection Antisira Tihi. <gasps> oh! Just so for chatting Blizzard... these streams are always fun be just full screen and send it. So Screw Blizzard, the it says today. they're experiencing a DDoS attack. Do y'all see that? Have any of you guys heard of that? I heard that their servers were jacked up, but I didn't know it was specifically because of a DDoS. Whoa. Lord have mercy. Um, insanity, full screen. Yeah, see, I need to uh, adjust the settings and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so that's one of the things. People who struggle and... Um, you know, they continue to be kind throughout it all and want to make things easier for others. That means so much to me. I'm in a waiting queue for nine minutes currently. But uh, Armin, what's up? How are you? How are you? But yeah, there's a lot of people and I understand it because sometimes people will say like, oh, you know, all these bad things happen to me and like I'm so misunderstood like I'm so broody and stuff like that and it's like you know poor me nobody wants to get to understand me all you're doing is hurting yourself and hurting everyone around you like like I said you know don't be some parasitic leech you know like it, it, we all have our issues we all have our demons you know in our closet it's your job to keep that under control and you know to go forward with positivity and so forth you know but that's one of the big things for sure. It's just like I say in nursing and why I'm so adamant on being a preceptor because it was so terrible for me. I don't ever want somebody to go through that again. And if you're gonna dedicate yourself to medicine and saving lives, why in the world would I ever do something to deter you from following your dreams and to be into that? Because that is very high stress. Because not only is it competitive to get into nursing school, not only is it very stressful to pass your boards, but I mean also too, I mean, the decisions that you make impact lives Literally, if you mess up, it's not like you can just redo it. You know, somebody's life is on the line. Uh, and then secondly, too, I mean, you're going to see things that I feel like humans are not meant to see. And you'll see people all contorted and children die. And I mean, it's it's terrible. So like, why in the world would I ever try to harm you more than this field is already going to try to harm you? You know what I mean? And like, crazy things are going to happen to you in your life. And one of the big things too, like I think of being an adult and being, you know, I don't know, just respectful in life is understanding that, you know, bad things happen, but you gotta stand up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you know? Suck it up, nobody cares. We're all struggling, okay? <laughs> 
you know, you should have your people who are your confidants that you can talk to and you can discuss things with, but yeah, people who just want to pout and just be like, I'm so misunderstood. It's to me, you're just acting like a kid. Oh, sorry, I turned off my alerts. Sorry. That's my bad. See if I can replay it. I'll replay these. Seriously, I was talking to one of my execs about that. The world is mostly negative or neutral, and becoming more so because of the war, COVID, the economy, social media, dot you name it. Positive people are rare. It's naturally a part of a person or is it something that can be taught? Pac, thank you so much for the bits. I mean, that's that can be an interesting thing to go into for sure. Yowie, thank you so much for the follow. Always <laughs> assume you. someone is having a bad day cause you'll never know what someone is going through in life. So I always do the best I can to be the symbol of peace in my mm. own little world. Go beyond plus ultra. <laughs> Sin, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, we've missed you, Sin. And that is so true, that is very, very true. DX, thank you for the bits. Buttercup, I just admire how you have grown since the time you spent with us almost two years soon. You continue to strive no matter the situation and keep doing your thing. Never change for anyone, keep yourself, conquer the world. Definitely. Yeah, Yowie. <laughs> like Yowie and Yuri, but anyways. Um, yeah, you should always act in kindness. And one of the things too is I was having a conversation with one of my family members and she said some really, really terrible things uh, to another one of my family members. And I had said, I was like, you know, why would you say those things? And she's like, I meant it. And I'm like, it doesn't matter like whether or not you meant it or not. I mean, like part of being an adult and being mature is understanding. So I was like, what are you expecting to gain? Because then of course, like he gets pissed off at her and she's like, you know, I can't believe he's acting that way. I was like, but you opened the door. Like, you were the catalyst for this entire uh, interaction, okay? Like, you you lit the flame, all right? But it's just interesting. It's just interesting overall. Because some people, you can sit down and say, look at the situation. Um, you know, maybe you should have just kept your mouth shut. Who cares what your opinion is? Your opinion really has no bearing on anything. Whether you like the guy or not, he's family to you. So you're not going to get rid of him. But, uh, you know, it's like, well, he said mean things to me. You have no idea. No, I don't. I don't have all the context. Just like I say, if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I only have the data from what I perceive and what I'm thinking. I still don't have all of the information because I'm not that other individual as well. So it's like, no, but you can't sit there and try to like one up somebody. It's like, well, he hurt me, so I'm going to hurt him too. Uh, that's, that's ridiculous to me. But yeah, it's funny because it's like, she will cause all these problems and then I say like I you know like be proud of the things that you say you know and at the end of the day like are you happy with the way that you conducted yourself because somebody can cuss me out and say some very terrible things to me and I will okay say your piece say your piece it does not mean that I'm gonna tear you down or I have to win this verbal argument with you some arguments are literally just not even worth having and it's funny too because you'll piss people off if you do not retaliate as the king of crazy, I enjoy the chaos. And by enjoy, I mean breaking the reactor in Chernobyl to kickstart the party. Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like right now, I'm upset that I have to leave stream early. But I'll be happy tomorrow at work when I load up the VOD and you make my morning even better. And there's like Gotta not find even a the game. silver lining in all things and use it to stay on the up and up. It's just me ranting. Zesty, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank Andy, you. Give me your address and it'll come set your stuff up for a just chatting. <laughs> or you nice can try, let me huh? remote in. I promise I won't go through any folders named nudes or <laughs> add folders named hive people. Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It says two minutes. Maybe we'll get in in two minutes. Maybe we won't. Who really knows? Who knows but yeah it, it takes a very strong person for somebody to tear you down and for you to be the bigger person and to react in kindness and love and act with grace that's what being an adult is to me it's what maturity is in my opinion obviously that's very subjective so who really knows lion what's up how are you doing have you been able to get into the beta lion antisira flex Ash, thank you so much for being a sub for 22 months. Thank you, thank you, I feel you, like the world you. has a cancer so, so and positivity is the cure. But I also feel like the positive people are being overrun by the cancers. Yes. Well, I mean, I think it's just like the whole movement as a whole, Kuro. Because now people are getting into this 
behavior where they're Oh, seriously, people get ticked when they don't get the response they were expecting, when mm -hmm. they don't unsettle you, or when you succeed despite their negativity. Very true. Pack, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Sassy, thank you so much for stopping Not by. Not reacting and being calm definitely angers those instigators looking for a fight. Looking for some validation to their inability to control themselves. Very true, Ratsu. Very, very true. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great rest of not just chatting stream. Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so kind of um, going back to what you were saying, Kuro. Um, one of the things that drives me crazy is like currently, you know, people just, they want to, and I deal with this a lot in medicine as well. I'm not going to get into this too, too, too much because it can be a very, very touchy subject. Before um, I leave for work. Birthday gift is 100% complete worth every OT. All Might can't wait to That's send so it and can barely hold his excitement. Hopefully my internet can start working tomorrow. Sin, thank you so much. I am so excited to see it. Thank you so, so, so much. I can't believe it's almost my birthday. It's terrifying. I already did this. <laughs> I don't want to input my stuff there. Uh, let's try this again and see if it'll go with God. Lord have mercy. Um, but yeah, so do not reply. What is up? How are you doing? How are you? How are you? Um, so yeah, one of the things is, is that specifically in medicine, let's say somebody gets in a fight or something like that. They always have this type of thing to where it's like they feel validated in what they're doing. Now, if your life is in danger, if somebody you love's life is in danger, or there is a major threat of like bodily harm, I understand you protecting yourself or somebody else. I understand that completely. But kind of like what I'm getting at, like in society in general, is people Speaking are doing terrible presence, things. I'm like 80% complete with the B-Day one. Those who know will know. I should have it sent out this weekend, maybe. Ratsu, thank you so much for the- Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just exited a few times. I'll keep trying. Insanity, B, thank we you already for the knew bits. your email is all underscore might underscore stalker <laughs> underscore 69. Insanity, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. What's up, Kay? How are you doing? How are you? How are you? But yeah, like this whole movement in society recently, it's like, who cares? You do you, you know? But it's like, okay, you have to understand that, yes, you only have one life to live and you do need to kind of like seize the day and do things that do genuinely make you happy. But also too, like being a terrible person should not be accepted. Like there should be repercussions for your actions and there usually are. And for people who start saying these things, like, oh, it's fine. Like you're just throwing away people. Like let's say, you know, people who just like go on a date with seven guys in a week, like a different guy every every day. Like you're throwing away people like they're just nothing, that they're irreplaceable and that they're not a human being. Like I say that I think about like this person's a child and then navigating adolescence, then your adulthood, they have dreams and hopes and likes and the all that kind of stuff. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. Hater, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. What an epic quote. That was freaking oh, epic. Oh, arguing with you to eat ramen as a just cause. <laughs> I will die on this cross. This is the hill you I'm can read die the letter on. now for the day you had. I will, I've stopped smelling your boogers. <laughs> I will be the darkness to your light. Wallace. I am vindicated. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bits, Wallace. Thank you, thank you. Be your B day is going to be so epic. I can't wait for you to get all these gifts, especially mine Antisira Tihi. It is gonna be so epic. Y'all are so sweet. I can't believe it's in like 30 days. That is insane. What's up, Elite? How are you? What's up, Ben? How are you? I've said this before on this. You do you and look for only your happiness is the wrong direction. You should do what matters even if it doesn't make you happy while keeping you happiness in balance. Yeah, you know, Retsu, thank you for the bits. Um, it's just a very interesting concept because if there's something that you 
are passionate about doing. Like I always say that everybody needs to have like their Northern star, right? So like mine happens to be my physics research, my physics PhD and stuff like that. If somebody tried to come into my life and refused to allow me to reach my Chastity dreams, is dead. that would not work. The value work. of women has plummeted cause men are too dumb to not throw their peepees at anything that says um. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I think it goes both ways. Hi, I think it's it's for men and women just in general. Like I say, you know, it, like the whole courting phase is just dead and gone, which is terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like people who just treat people like they're nothing and they have no worth. It's like you're, you're throwing away your pe a piece of humanity and a piece of your dignity as well. Like whenever you're going through and you're treating people like they're nothing. And if you're treating people like they're nothing, Chances are people are also going to treat you like you're nothing because in reality, what is your worth at that point, right? If you're going to treat people that poorly, you don't care to get to know somebody, you don't, you know, have any sense of self-respect or dignity, why is anybody going to treat you with any of those qualities, you know? Who's going to take the shot on you? The chances are going to be slim. You have to be the values that you want, you know, and to be proud to where at night when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're proud of how you've conducted yourself, you know? Be proud of yourself. That's what I try to do. And in all facets of my life, I, I try to be the best that I can be. Do I always succeed? No, am I flawed? Of course. But I'm never acting out of malice. I'm never trying to harm somebody. Jaeger, what's up? I know, right? How terrible. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's quite terrible. Bretsu, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We're just gonna sit here and My I guess My value is about $69.69. <laughs> Hater, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What you're saying now is exactly why I am not a fan of dating. It'd rather be single than enter the modern dating scene. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are not many women with your stance on life in the world. I mean, but I feel like the rare the bird, right? Because that increases your worth as well. I am simply glad you exist. Carl, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll go into that here in a second, We've Kuro. talked a bit about this. I think though courting and romance has to be specific to the person. And that probably can't happen in this society because it's narcissistic. So how do you maintain hope for your Mr. Dr. Bianca? <laughs> Mr. Dr. Bianca. Uh, Kuro, just to kind of like go back into what you said, um, I think what ends up happening too is that sometimes people end up falling for the wrong person, especially whenever you're younger, right? Because you're kind of, you don't have really a concept of what love truly is yet. I mean, there's a lot of things in the world you haven't really figured out yet. But, um, you know, like part of that too is just because you've gotten with somebody who's treated you terribly or can't see your worth doesn't mean that you're worthless. In reality, they're the ones that are worthless, that are not capable of seeing you for everybody, everything that you're meant to be, right? Because it's like, if I'm sitting down and I'm having a conversation with somebody, I'm having a full on dedicated conversation with you. I will pay attention to everything you say. I will pay attention to everything that you don't say. I will pay attention to what you, the meaning under the words of what you're saying. And I am trying to figure you, not figure you out because people are just not that simple. They're, it's not just black and white, but I'm trying to get an understanding of your mindset, where you're coming from, your hopes, your dreams, what makes you this unique individual. And I find that fascinating with people. I love that about people and I love the psychology of it. And I will take the time to get to know you. But if you come across somebody who just treats you as irreplaceable, it's easy for people to just be like, you know, uh, like, you know, I, I hate these types of people or I hate this size of people, but I mean, it's hard to find people throughout all of society that are willing to dedicate time to actually get to know you. I mean, they're rare, but that's why they're more valuable. You know, you're not gonna, you can't just like walk out and find somebody who's gonna take the time to get to know you. It is a rarity. And as also it should be, right? Because I just feel like in general, it's far more difficult to do. Um, and you have to not be narcissistic. You have to sit down and focus on the other person versus yourself. Listen more than you speak, you know? Um, and pack, I think courting and romance has to be specific to the person. Of course, I mean, everybody's an individual, so everything has to be individualized. For sure. Okay, back to the strike. So never let B get to know me got it. <laughs> Places you shouldn't delve into as Wallace's mind and heart. I have a pretty dark mind too, Wallace. 
Got many demons in, in a closet. world where instant gratification of all forms is ever present and personal value cheapened. Those who understand happiness in life as a long pain filled road will be fulfilled in life. Insanity, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I mean, nothing worth getting is ever easy. You know, kind of like I had said a few weeks ago, that girl that I was running with like back in high school, she's like, you know, it hurts like to run the mile and a half or whatever. I was like, I just ran a mile and a half. Now I'm running a mile and a half with you. It sucks for everybody else too. But the difference between you and I is that I suck it up and I get it done and you just sit there and you complain. You know, it's like, let me show you the difference between you and I, okay? Agreed. Getting to really know someone should be the fundamental building block of any relationship. How can anyone decide to be with another if they don't really want to know what makes them tick? Mm -hmm. PR, thank you for the bits. Definitely. Yeah, to kind of get an understanding um, of the basis of that person and what the foundation that they're on, for sure. Yaksha, what's up? How are you doing? But, I mean, that's just, that's just one of the things, too. It's kind of like I, I've gotten very fond of the saying of, like, you know, people standing in a kiddie pool thinking that they're swimming with no idea that there's a torrential sea out there. I mean, you have to understand people's different levels of capacities. People are vastly different when it comes to their abilities. If we get to abilities. 20 subs, will you stretch your camera a little XD? I'm trying to get people in here to see you, but they can't see you in the just chatting thumbnail. We need more hottie on screen. Hive can only do so much. Hive, thank you for the donation. I mean, I'm about to, this is probably gonna be the end of the stream here shortly. I just got on a rant. I didn't think I was gonna rant this hard. I will make a just chatting little format though for when this happens again. I cry, I cry, I cry. Rant more, rant forever. I can rant forever. But yeah, it's one of the things that drives me crazy because it's like for people to reach the top tier of things and it doesn't necessarily, that can mean a vastly different things for vastly different, I don't know, levels. Hater, <laughs> thank you so much for the 14 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, hater. And PR, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you, hater PR. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you. Here, let's see. It's just gonna move everything? Is it? Oh, oh no. Hold on. Oh wait, this is the one I have to hold control for, right? See, hold on. I can make it a little bigger. <laughs> It's just like right in the middle of the screen. We'll put it there anyway. We'll, we'll put it right there. I'll leave my other things alone because I don't want to mess with those right now. But Carol, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Thank you. Wallace, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, so much. Thank you. Is it much better? <laughs> I, I was like, I, the chances are that I'm just going to destroy everything that I've done thus far is going to be... The chances are high that I'm just gonna jack it all up, but it is what it is. I guess it's okay for my rants for right now. Uh, what was I even talking about? Where did I leave off before all of these subs? What was I talking about? I was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suffering. You always pull me back in with your replies. Who said I have demons? Maybe they are just misunderstood friends. I definitely You have to have vent demons. and people are here for you. Not mm. me though, I am just learning more about my nemesis. Who's your nemesis? Am I your nemesis? Who's your nemesis? There are so many stories Bobby, of celebrities welcome to the stream. that end up with people that have never seen their work. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if you are a fan you are DOA because it changes the power dynamic. Would you date a guy who tells you he has seen all of your t- Good question, Carol. That's Holy a very crap, good point. this is like 300 times better. Can we just leave it like this <laughs> always? I'm dead serious. What do you all think, chat? Hi, thank you for the donation. Pack, thank you for the bits. I'll go into that here in a second, Carol. In a second. They say opposites attract. So if that's the case, your perfect match is that hairless Chad that your cousin hangs out with lol. You just <laughs> need to marry the equivalent of a trophy husband just sits there and look pretty. 
I couldn't tolerate somebody who just sat there and looked pretty. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it at all. Pack, thank you so much for the bits. Um, yeah, I have definitely heard of people saying that like, uh, yeah, like actors and stuff like that, getting with people who are like not actors or actresses as well, which is understandable too, I guess in a way. I mean, because it's hard because sometimes it's easier to relate to people who are also in your field, but then also too, it's kind of good to, I would say have a little difference of that because I mean, it's like just like working in trauma. It can be very difficult to explain that to people who are, have not seen that before. Zuzu, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you? How are you? How are you? Um, Gaming, what's up? How are you? How are you? And Roxas, I, I, don't, I don't know how I even got started on these rants, to be honest with you. Yes, I saw the DDoS attack. Sadness, sadness. Insanity, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Insanity, my god. Um, but, you know, I, I think I'll constantly say one of the most important things I think for just like humanity in general is to be understood and to be seen cohesively as the person that you are. Like all the dark recesses of your mind, like for somebody to take time to actually understand you, like past just the facade that people see, and that's what I always try to really aim to do with anybody that I'm talking to. Like when I sit down and dedicate my time to talk to you, I am fully trying to understand you as an individual. individual. Um, and I think that is quite rare. But yeah, for people who would just like sit there and have no motivation, no want to do anything, just sit there and like take like a leech, I can't tolerate it personally. But there's people that that is okay with because that is the highest like elo they're capable of functioning in. You know, Zuzu, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. I don't even know why I keep trying to do this. I know I'm not gonna get in. Hi, how do you handle people who have had horrible childhoods that destroyed their lives, let it affect them and rule their lives now? I mean, I... Hmm. You how need do I to find someone this? who you can actually be yourself with and not just project a self. You've invented for that person. 1,000% agreed, hater. 1,000% to be your genuine Guess self. Guess I've subbed for a total of three months, lol. Gaming, thank you so much for being a sub for three months. I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hi, back to what you said. I mean, I've kind of alluded to this quite a bit. Uh, I certainly had, I had a very rough childhood. Extremely rough. It was terrible. And even still, like if I watch movies and stuff, I was like, that has nothing on my life. My life was pure and utter chaos. It is totally you. You are such a beacon of hope and light. I am the darkness. I put the imp in simp. The imp in it's simp. It's a love-hate relationship. Hate to I love hate you. to love you. <laughs> What's that song? I hate everything about you. Why do I love you? I think it's literally just called, I hate everything about you. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll continue on here in a second. Hive. Wanna read? No. Uh, no. Why? Why does it want to If read? it's dating, friendships, co-workers, students, everyone's time is valuable. Mm -hmm. So we are so thankful for the time you give us B. And I'm thankful Smoochies. for the time that you guys give me. Like you even take time out of your life, just in this finite universe, you take time to hang out with me. That's crazy to me. Um Pac, thank you so much for the bits. Having followed you, part of understanding you is gaming, part of you, your history, your DNA. Could you date a non-gamer or worse, someone who you could kick in every game? Um, I would say that they have to have a basis of gaming. I, gaming just, it means a lot to me, I guess, in a sense, and I spend a lot of time doing it. Am I the best at it? Absolutely not. It's just more of a hobby to me. It's kind of like a, an escape from reality. But it would be very difficult because I have dedicated so much time of my life to it to where if you would take that factor out, I feel like it would, I'd lose a bit of myself in being able to like be conversational with you, if that makes any sense. Uh, it would be hard. They don't even have to like the same type of games, but just understand it as a whole. And to where it's like, I'm not neglecting you or I'm not trying to neglect you. Like I'm just playing a game, which would be the same thing as like going to a movie with a friend or reading a book or something like that. Um, Jimbo, what's up? How are you doing? How are you? How are you? Oh yeah, I'm still supposed to go into the, the child. Buttercup, thing. thank you for this unexpected savage chat rant stream. 
I am always intrigued with everything you have to say. It always keeps getting better with you every stream. May we grow old with you. DX, you're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so yeah, back to the childhood thing. When I was growing up as a kid, I feel like, you know, you can't choose the hand that you're dealt, but you can choose how to play your cards, right? And so the way that I would see it is I grew up with a lot of people that would just be like, oh, well, my mom was like this, or my dad was like that. And, you know, so it just makes sense that I'm that way. And the way that I see it is like, whenever I was growing up, I was like, I see people who are at the top of society and that's what I want to be. Like, I want to contribute to the scientific field and nobody's going to stop me because maybe I was born into a bad situation, but I'm not less than any of them. And maybe I have to work harder for it, you know, but I will do it because I have one life to live and I'm not going to just rule over and just take that, you know, for nothing. Gaming, thank you so much for hitting the sub goal. <laughs> Gaming, thank you, thank you, thank you for the 28 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much, gaming. That is so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was wondering what that face was in the chat. Gaming, thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so kind of you. Thank you so, so, so much for hitting the sub goal gaming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lex, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate you. Wallace, thank you for the bits. Insanity, thank you for the bits. You guys are so kind. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Unicorn, we've missed you. How are you? Y'all are so kind. Thank you so much. I don't know how much I'll be able to get through before it starts getting to the, the bit reading. But uh, yeah, like to me, it's just, if I could see somebody running uh, Lex, thank you so much for the bits, and thank you so much for stopping by to say hi. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. But the way I see it, I was actually having a conversation with one of my friends, because we were talking about running. And so I was just like, I haven't, I didn't run in a long time. I'll do things like cardio and like sprints and stuff like that, or like the elliptical. But I never just like set out on a run. Usually I don't, at least. And so anyways, like she was like, oh, but I'll go into this here in a second. What's up, Black Mike? You How are you doing? You see the beauty in life. My favorite quote makes me think of you. The grand show is eternal. It is always sunrise somewhere. The mm -hmm. dew is never all dried at once. A shower is forever falling. Vapor. That's beautiful. Where's that from? Well, be we do that because you are such an amazing person with so much depth that we by and large do not know how much that is. But what we do is the smart, caring, nerdy, lovable dork who has stolen our hearts. That is so sweet. Wallace, insanity. I just thank wanted you. to say hi. Lex, thank you. Thank you, thank you. PR, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Loving different things just gives us the opportunity to learn Twin and share Peaks? more together. And that's why I'm yes. going to give Twin Peaks a try, Antisira Tihi. <laughs> I love Twin Peaks. Uh, okay. So we were talking about how, um, like with running and stuff like that, like if I'm going to commit to do something, I will, I will commit to do something. If I have to, if I kill myself trying, if I have to crawl my way to the finish line, I will succeed. Nothing is going to stop me. Hi, and dude. was good. Thank you so much for being a sub for 22 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate you. And that's the different types of mindsets of people because I think some people like whenever they're suffering, it's just like there's always a reason why they can't do something. And so the conversation that I was having with my friend is I was like, do it in spite of that. You know, and it's just that much more impressive. Like don't just roll over and just accept this. To me, it's just like I, nothing is wrong with my heart. Nothing is wrong with my lungs. Like they can do it. Therefore I can too. And maybe, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the strongest, but I know I have the most heart out of everybody here, and I will succeed. Whether or not it kills me, I will die trying. But back to, like, the whole childhood thing, yeah, I've seen so many people, and I've had to do a lot of groups with um, PD and adolescent children when I did my PD and adolescent psych nursing. And, like, having these conversations, too, because I'll see a lot of them, and they're, like, on the wrong path. And they'll say like, you know, well, what would you know? I, was, I know because I have been there. I have been there and I still became a trauma nurse and I'm still going to be a physicist. And so all these things, like I'm not talking from something that I've never experienced or I've never seen or, you know, I understand it fully and I understand the difficulty it can be. 
um, or that, you know, the repercussions for all these actions. And yes, you may have to work at it harder, but you only have one life to live. If there's one thing that you should dedicate your time to, it should be succeeding in life to feel fulfilled and be everything that you want to be. So that's one thing that will piss me off so much when people are like, you don't know, you know, I was like this. No, I don't know your whole story, okay? But everybody has issues. Everybody has dysfunctional families. I, you're not unique in that sense, you know? So but suck the it contrary up. to that is, sometimes you can't win. Sometimes you need to quit. Like a bad relationship, a toxic work environment. When do you know it's not right to go coo out and to walk? That's a good question, Pat. That's a good question. I had this conversation John Muir, his too. quotes are my favorite of all, but that is the best. He is the one that uh, said, the yes. mountains are calling and I must go. Yes, I know that quote. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, yeah, so sometimes I wouldn't even say necessarily quit for, I don't know if I would necessarily like use that word per se in this context. Um, <laughs> the one thing I'm going to dedicate my life to starting right now is getting to suck on your sesame seed at least once. <laughs> I hate her. Thank you so much for the. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's a good goal to have. Um, but yeah, you need to understand the things that you are willing to go through, the things that you're willing not to tolerate, right? So if you're in like a toxic relationship and all they're doing is pulling you down, at a certain point, you have to understand where it's like you cannot change that individual. They're going to decide to do whatever they're going to do. And if they want to sit and they want to pout and they want to pull you down with them, you have to recognize like a drowning victim will try to pull you down with you. You know, it can be very insidious. And just because you care about somebody does not mean that they, you should allow them to destroy you as well. Like in the process, you still have to do things that are conducive for your well-being, which also in a sense is conducive to them too. Because if you allow them to get away with treating you terribly, they're just going to continue to do it. At some point, you have to stand up and say, absolutely not. Uh, you're not going to tolerate. I'm not going to tolerate that. You're not going to talk to me that way. You know, you have me confused with somebody else. <laughs> Try that with me. Try it. Um, but yeah, if, if the thing is too, and I say often with the hospitals and with like new nurses is I, I worked with this one nurse and she's like, the hospital needs me. The hospital doesn't need you. Okay. The hospital will continue to function with or without you. And that's one of the things too, is that people don't want to, you know, take PTO or decide to go to a different hospital to get a raise and stuff like that. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to do things that are better for you to reach the tier that you're attempting to get to, you know? Cause that's one of the things that drives me crazy is I have a family member in my life that she is extremely toxic and she will tear, she will burn her house down and she'll just like add fuel and then she'll be like stand around and be like, why isn't anybody putting it out when it's, she's the one who's lighting everything on fire. Oz, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. And Joel, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and so like that type of behavior drives me crazy because to me, it's like the way I think in my mind, which isn't necessarily correct and is very subjective, but I'm like, if it was me, there would be no problem because I refuse to be a victim in any of these situations i will it might suck but i will get an through example it. also would be what process did you go through to change out of your master's program to mm. quit that must have been hard for you that was actually probably one of the easiest things that i've ever done pack thank you so much for the bits and i i wish i could go into this more I have to watch kind of what I say on this because for those of you guys who do not know, I was working on my master's in forensics um, before I ended up switching to do my bachelor's in physics. Now, that being said, I am very fascinated with death investigation. I enjoy doing autopsies. I should have striked today. B has me so scaroused right now. <laughs> Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I might have to get ramen because I'm telling you, I have one angering day. Um, but one of the things also in forensics is, let's just say, specimen collection. Let's say that. Hello, Tilda just here to lurk while I do work on the side laughing face. Candice, thank you so much for being a tier three sub for 25 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Candice. I hope you're having an awesome day. Enjoy your work. Best wishes. I know you're going to do amazing. Okay, so uh, part of the forensics was death investigation, autopsies, that type of stuff, which I love. 90% of it is, let's call it specimen collection, okay? That being said, 
there are things, there are terrible things that happen to people, right? I see that all the time in trauma. I see it all the time specifically in forensics. Um, you know, evidence collection, all that kind of stuff that goes off to the detectives and to the police and that we have to go into court essentially to talk about these issues. Now, there is a different strain of that where people regret their decisions and because of their regret, they will trying to think of how to navigate this because just because you regret your actions does not mean that somebody else needs to pay the price for the choices that you made. I hope that makes sense. And that would really upset me because I've had many conversations to where it's like, you start off with one story, we end up in this story and the entirety of the situation is not adding up here. And I don't think that somebody else needs to take the fall for something that you're not happy with the decision that you made and the choices that you made in life. You need to live with the actions that you chose and maybe you're embarrassed and maybe you feel like you lost your dignity and kind of shook up your morals a little bit there, but that doesn't mean that they need to pay the price for it. You need to own it. So <laughs> without going too much more deeper, deep into that, I hope that gets the message across. Yes, ramen and letter, I win the day. I totally forgot what I wrote. <laughs> I shut up now. Okay, love you, bye. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and Mimo. Mimosa. Thank you so much for being a tier three sub for 23 months, Mimo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mimo. But yeah, just morally speaking, I didn't want to dedicate my life to things that at the end of the day, I'm not the judge, right? So I don't condemn anybody, but I don't want to play a role in the condemnation of innocence when there's far other things that I could do. I hope that makes sense. I'm not gonna go much more into it, but I'm not okay with damning somebody who did nothing wrong in my opinion, you know? There's others. You are innocent until proven guilty in my eyes. But yeah, I can't, uh, can't get down with that. Can't get down with that. PRB has got the finger pointing going on. <laughs> right? I'm telling you, it's just been such a crazy day. I have so much pent up angst. Oh my God. Drink my wine. I guess we'll try it one more time and see. I'm not, I'm not thinking we're gonna get through. <sighs> but I'll try it one more time anyways. Why not? Hater, what kind of wine are you sipping on tonight? It's like a sweet red. It's a riscotto, it's called riscotto hmm. smooth. I was ordered to give some specimens, but I can't make it. I'll send Mimo over. He has plenty of it you all can swore about. Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. So much. Oz, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Is being a nurse intervene in being in a relationship? I don't know if I understand what you're asking, Oz. I, I am loving your TED Talk, Peepo Happy Wine Time. Okay, my <laughs> My angry day rant with wine is essentially what it is. Uh, Kay, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, Oz, is being a nurse intervene in being a relationship? Yeah, I don't know the question. I don't think I'm understanding the question, sadly. Um, if I did, are, are you saying is being a nurse cause? Difficulties in a relationship, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Time? I don't know. <laughs> Oz, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can uh, type it in chat here though, if you'd prefer and I'll, I'll read it. Oz. As far oh. as time, F-G-O-E-S, since you guys work so much. Oh, yeah. So, like, does being a nurse and our scheduling affect being in a relationship is the question. B, I honestly enjoy these rant streams more than your normal streams. <laughs> it's fun seeing the more fiery, for lack of a better word, on my part. Side <laughs> of you. I am quite opinionated. Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Uh, I mean, it depends, I would say, on somebody's capacity to understand things, because the thing is, is with nurses, like, if I'm at the hospital, I'm at the hospital for at least a minimum of 14 hours, sometimes it can be even more than that, 
Like, sometimes, like, let's say, for instance, I'm supposed to get off at like 7 p.m. if I'm working night shift. Rarely ever do. But if I do, let's say 7 p.m. and I can't leave until I'm relieved, otherwise that's patient abandonment. So let's say that somebody, let's say you plan to take a nurse on, on a date or something like that. And they don't understand that just because you're working that day that like you're expected, they say, okay, meet me here at, I don't know, eight or something. It doesn't mean that they're necessarily gonna get there. And I think sometimes that can cause resentments. I've seen that happen to a lot of nurses that I know. Okay, question. We know how the jokes about you being interested in teachers got going. Where did the dad thing come from? Overwatch soldier vibe? Another cool story? <laughs> it seems to predate that TikTok. I'll go into that here in a second, Fuck. I'll finish this real quick. How many yes votes does the poll need to make it happen? Q, Q, Q. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I do want to do more just chatting streams for sure. Most definitely. <laughs> I'm just so overwhelmed with school and everything. It's hard for me to like think ahead for things. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, the scheduling can be weird. I think with anybody, um, it doesn't just have to be nursing in general. It can be the same thing with doctors. It can be the same things with other careers where you're away from for a long period of time. And with me specifically being a travel nurse, um, that has its own sets of BR issues. energy for the day is almost the same. You have a little more than I do, but that's because I got the cars off my list today. Eric, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. But you know, it's like one of those things that if I'm on contract, I may be gone anywhere from three months to nine months sometimes, you know? And so sometimes people will be like, oh yeah, that's okay. But I mean, it can be very difficult. I've seen many relationships um, with travel nurses that I work with just fall to pieces. Because at the end of the day, it's like they expect somebody to have like the normal, like, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever is going to come home to you every night. And that's well, not always the case. Well, when you do date case. someone, make sure they are a good man and not a nice guy. There is a difference. There is definitely a difference, Willis. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it can definitely be difficult. And once again, I think that trust is everything. You can't be with somebody 24-7. Like if I was gonna date somebody and they had some career kind of like mine, like where you're just away for long periods of time, I mean, I have full faith in you. If I was gonna date somebody, I have faith in you. And I will give you my faith and my trust up until you do something that would, you know, reflect poorly on that. But as far as I, as one of the most important things that I've learned just in Get life- Get you someone who's got a career who can follow you around on contract. <laughs> yeah. See, that would be awesome. John, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. Hater, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. I think once again, like part of maturity and part of being an adult is allow, understand that somebody else is a complete individual and is a normal human being. And I trust you to act right in the situation. I trust myself to act right in the situation. That's all I can do, right? I'm not gonna hold on to you just waiting for you to mess up. Or like if I hold on tight enough, like you're not gonna do something to hurt me. Uh, people may hurt you. I mean, that's a part of life, but then also too, it's like, I have to say, okay, you know, I can't control your actions. So, um, you know, if you do something to hurt me then that's on you and you have to live with it. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Wolf! You, but are we winning? <laughs> this is so depressing. I can't get in. <laughs> so depressing. Maybe it's for the best that I didn't get into the beta. Maybe I would have just raged too hard. But Wolf, thank you so much for being a sub for six months. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so much. Um, but yeah, you know, that's one of the things that kind of like blows me away. Cause I have, my cousin specifically is like super, I don't even know what the word would be. Like if we go out to eat and then she'd have her boyfriend there, she'd be like, give me your phone. Like in front of everybody, like make a seed. It's like, what, first off, what are you even doing in a relationship where you can't trust the guy to begin with? And then secondly, he didn't even do anything wrong. It was her and her crazy mind that was, she was projecting it onto this poor innocent man or thing. Droid, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. I was thinking you. about this concept earlier. People look at for dating trophies when really they should be looking for partners. A partner will compliment each other and you win together. Trophies will leave as soon as they think there is something mm -hmm. better. Carl, thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, I mean, so that's a big thing too. It's because people will say like, oh, well, if I was... <laughs> What's up, Lucifer? Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drusifer, thank you.
Promise you. I won't thank hurt you. you. Antisaurus Moochies. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, Kuro, uh, something that I've seen a lot too is I, I've known guys who like go after like these Instagram models and stuff like that. And the thing is too, is that like they get so much attention and they don't care at the end of the day. Like they do treat people like trophies. And that's one of the things that drives me crazy because people will say it's like, oh, well, if I was just more attractive or something, like I wouldn't have an issue like getting in a relationship. I mean, I think if you're the best that you can be, I truly mean it when I say that your personality means so much more than your looks ever could. Because at the end of the day, I'm not looking for somebody who's supposed to be like some freaking, I don't know, model or something like that. I want somebody that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I enjoy spending time with you. I enjoy having conversations with you. You know, I it is so much more than just this physical attraction. And even if I wasn't at base value attracted to them, the conversation that they can have with me and taking the time to know me and me taking the time to get to know them can bump them up sporadically in their attractiveness. Yeah, I mean, cause you're right, hater. Like it looks will eventually fade, but at the end of the day, like do you have fun just going to the grocery store with somebody, just watching a TV show, just making a new recipe? Like these are types of things that it's like that is a partner for life and somebody that is hell bent on helping you reach your goals and being like, you know, helping you reach your aspirations. That is so much more attractive to me than somebody who just looks attractive. Cause to me personally, I've come across a lot of people to where it's like, they think that they're like all of that because they have like all these followers so on Instagram. So if you were in a relationship, care. at what point does Bianca post them? You have a tailored social media presence at dating, at engagement, birth of first child, Pack, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, I mean, I think that a lot of people are okay with sharing their personal life. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I would respect whatever they would want. You know, if they didn't want to be on the internet or anything like that. And in a part two, it's like for their own protection, I'd feel. Because I feel like if I were to get a relationship with somebody, I feel like they would also get hate because people will attack just out of nowhere. And if they didn't want to be on social media, that's perfectly fine. If they did want to be on social media, then that's fine as well. If they allowed me to talk about it, then I would talk about it, but I would honor their wishes at the end of the day. You know, uh, if I ever had a child, I probably wouldn't post about my kid just because I know the crazy stuff that people send me. I know the crazy things that people do to me just in my day-to-day -day life and just like seeing me at the grocery store and stuff like that. I wouldn't want that. Um, for a child, when I eventually have one, if I eventually have children, but I mean, I would just, um, I would just have to go with what they were comfortable with, you know? Because too, it's like when you're in a normal relationship, there's not that much stress on you, right? But then let's say for instance, like you do something where all of a sudden you're in a relationship, like let's say, let's use me for example. And like let's say I post a TikTok or something and I think it's like 13 million views. That person is now subjected to 13 million people looking at them. That's not an ordinary, ordinary stressor that that person ordinarily would go under, right? And so to me, I was like, that's a bur that would be a burden of dating me for you to have to experience that just because of the person that I am. And I would never subject somebody to that unless they wanted it, you know, and they didn't particularly care. Then, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Joel, my opinion, I feel it's more attractiveness than the personality but not everybody's the same person. Nobody is the same person, which is the interesting thing, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's just my opinion over it all. Most people don't realize that love basically becomes a conscious daily choice in a relationship and not this magical everything is always okay dream. <laughs> Hi, uh, that's, that's definitely true. I mean, it's not the, it's gonna be the most difficult thing that you ever do is what I would So think, I know, you know, Dot, you really are dating that hairless Chad RN and he doesn't want you to post winking face. And he's a dad, <laughs> got it. Pac, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Poke, welcome to the stream. Found you from Dr. Mike. Thank you so much for stopping by my Twitch channel. I really, really appreciate you, Poke. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something that would be hilarious? But I, I didn't answer what you said about the teachers and the dads and stuff. Um, where that stems from. First off, when I was in high school, I just had the biggest crush on my physics teacher. And then just kind of like, I would say it for the lols afterwards. Um, Pack, don't forget he's also her old physics teacher. 
Insanity, thank you for the vips. Thank you, thank you. And then I think I just started the joke like when I was in high school because I had this one friend and <laughs> she was always getting mad at me. And so my reaction when she would be upset with me is I was like, I'm gonna go seduce your dad. <laughs> And I don't know, I just, I've joked about it ever since, essentially, but I would always make that joke. I was like, I'm gonna seduce your dad, I'm gonna seduce your brother, or something like that, just to piss her off. And it just never left. I concluded left. the other day that love is like a seed. The feeling planted by another, you as a pair grow that seed. At first it's at a lot of risk from the external elements, and needs to be protected and nurtured, but as it grows it becomes- Mm-hmm. The relationships that exist with artificial trees, meaning they're just convenient, but they will never bear the fruit that true love will. That's a very beautiful statement, Kuro. Very, very well said. Very eloquent. Very, very nicely said, Kuro. That's very good uh, food for thought. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I would... I... Bless her heart. What's up, Salty? How are you doing? How are you? It's just, it was hilarious too, because like she, oh my God, I used to upset her so much, but she was just like, she's somebody who would rage all the time. So I would just do it just cause I could get a rise out of her just to say these things. B, what is your t-shirt size? I found one that has your dad as my cardio printed on the front. And I think you would look darling what? in it. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. Moscow, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wear an extra small usually, but I usually wear my shirts like oversized. I wear any size, even like massive shirts. I like to wear massive shirts with my little leggings. Uh, yeah, but I remember one time, <laughs> I was at a sleepover at my friend's house. She said something to piss me off. And I was like, <laughs> I remember I'd walk over to her brother's door. I was like, I was gonna knock on his door and I'd look at her and just to see what she would do. It was hilarious. It was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, custom made shirt for me. So true. Um, poke, steal your extra large sweatshirt. Yes, I, everything I wear is like uh, oversized. It was so funny. It was, <laughs> it was such a trip too. Because like I knew her brother liked me too. And I was like, don't make me do it. I'll do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> it was quite the trip. Fun times. Fun times. I can still see her face, like to this day. <laughs> Don't mind kimchi. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. See, she'd do it to piss me off. And I was like, okay then, two can play at this game. Two can play. But, <laughs> anyways, I, I feel like, I don't know. I, I, when it comes down to like my high school stories, I don't even feel like I have that many, but then I start off on these tangents and then it just snowballs into something else. Uh, hi, do you hang out with any of your high school friends still or did y'all drift away? Um, I don't really ever feel like I had many high school friends. I went to a different school every year of my life for the most part. So I never really had friends that I've known for forever. You know? Hmm. Hate her. Her brother was just sitting on the other side of that door, one hand on the door, and I was just waiting for the tiniest of knocking. <laughs> yeah, but I, I never really had uh, many high school. I I had a lot of acquaintances-ish, I would say. I, I don't know how I managed to do it. I think that I've always just been super positive. So even if I wouldn't do things, like people still, I mean, I don't know how to say this without it sounding like a flex at all. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know how to say this without like, it sounding like a flex, but I was always relatively quite popular whenever it came down to any of the schools that I was at, like even in high school, which was funny too, because I was definitely like the darker one, right? With my super black eyeliner and always wearing all black or like my little dresses and stuff. Um, but you know, it, it, all these antics and these things that people would think that I was doing it just to be funny because you know like for um the homecoming court whenever you're elected into homecoming court you have like the bows and the sweethearts on the football field like in front of the entire high school um i couldn't drive at this time and i was telling my mom i was like please just get me there on time please but there was a whole slew of issues so what's the youngest you date and the oldest you date or is mm -hmm. it just similar interests and maturity level yeah i don't see you babysitting or dating geriatric but 
pack. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I have a number. Yeah, it's just mostly maturity level. If I can hold a decent conversation with you. I don't really think that age has too much of a correlation. I mean, obviously they can't be too young. They just look too young to me. I'm, that freaked me out. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess within reason. Uh... Dorazar, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyways, like, my entire high school was out on the football field, and I was so late to this homecoming court thing, which I, I got selected, I guess, to be on the homecoming court. I never ran for it. But anyways, everybody would think that I was always doing these things just to be funny, but I wasn't doing it to be funny. Like, it was not an antic. But all I could do was just, you know, laugh it off. So anyways, like my whole high school is out there and here comes B running on the field. <laughs> my black dress, my high top Friends forever, converse. You well, I heard there is a 10 year plan for like, FF14. So you're stuck with me for a while, Antisira Tihi. PR, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much, the 10 year plan. Um, but yeah, it, it was hilarious because like people were laughing and everybody was like cheering like, oh yeah, that's so B. Like, you know, B is just fashionably late. And I was like, well, no, I had very good reason, but I'm just gonna laugh at it regardless. And you know, hater, did you slip and fall? Heck no, come on, I'm a legend. I'm a legend. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, it's like you have the ability to either like cry about a situation or just be like, I'm not going then, you know, or you can just own it and it is what it is. and. You know, just keep smiling through it. Always gotta be optimistic, even when things are going bad. I don't know. I feel like that's why people liked me in high school. I was the most optimistic goth girl you would ever meet. <laughs> Dumbledore, maturity as intelligence or knowledge and comfortability um, with emotions. I would say knowledge and comfortability more so than intelligence. I think intelligence definitely has its role because the more experiences you go through, you're gonna have that kind of base uh, intelligence, but um, overall, I think it's understanding, it's controlling your emotions, like not becoming volatile, hearing things that you don't necessarily wanna hear, doing things that you don't necessarily wanna do, having grace in the situation, thinking about somebody else's, from somebody else's perspective. Like, all that stuff I think correlates, personally. Personally, personally. But always stay smiling, for sure, always. Always, always, always. My girl can't picture a goth bee. I know. You know, and see, one of the sad things is, is I did have quite a few really cool pictures. And then sadly, my mom burned them So all. were you voted anything? Like most likely to succeed? Most likely to be a PhD? <laughs> most likely to embalm your grandma? Uh, we had quite a few things, I guess, like back in the day. Um, I need to like try to to scrounge up some stuff. But I, I was definitely in like yearbooks quite a bit for quite a bit of stuff, but I never had my own yearbook like myself, you know? I'd always have to like read somebody else's um, yearbook. I wish I had them though for the memories, but alas, was not in my cards, but yeah. I did have quite a few really cool pictures that I have like memories of, but sadly they we're burned and they do not exist in this reality anymore. You know, sadness, ultimate sadness. But, okay, I think I've ranted for a long enough time at this point, long enough time. But thank you guys so, so, so much for uh, spending time B with me my rants. B100% looked just like a My Chem fan. Change my mind. <laughs> a my Chem, I did love My Chem, hardcore, hardcore. And Sandy, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you guys all for staying here and for talking with me. I mean, I thought it was gonna be like five minutes. I was like, of course, this is how my day has been because it's just been like so freaking crazy. It is so unfortunate when this kind of stuff happens. And then also too, what I'm upset about, I'm not gonna go into my day, but one of the little things is <laughs> the lawn people who were like mowing my lawn cracked one of my windows downstairs too. So it has just been like one thing after another. It's just like, everything is going on and obviously the, the, the window is probably the least amount of worse things that have happened to me today but it's just very inconvenient everything is just getting very inconvenient and then for overwatch 2 not to work and oh my gosh it just is that at way at your sometimes. age it would be hard to make out the hieroglyphics anyway i guess lol that is very true carl that is very true very true 
We love you, B. We will hang out and spend time with you regardless. <laughs> Insanity, thank you so much for the bit. Uh, but I love you guys so, so, so much. You guys know that you mean the absolute world to me. Tomorrow, the stream will be at the normal time, 6 p.m. CST. You guys mean everything to me. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. I don't even know how I got on this tangent, but it is what it is. Uh, but I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow.